So we're just on our way to the Nchonki group and we passed a pile of fresh elephant dung and then down in the valley on the right is this magnificent male elephant oldish male I should think probably in his 40s or 50s and as he feeds you can see the breath condensing producing little clouds of steam coming out he's got a fine pair of tusks and Sally, our guide, says that uh, they don't name the elephants here, but he's such a distinctive individual, he'd be easy to recognise. And I think we should call him Bahati, which is Swahili for luck, because it's our good luck to see him. And he must be a lucky elephant, because he's still got those fine ivories. Hi, uh, I'm Joran and I'm here with Ian and uh, over the last three days we have had some unbelievable experiences and uh, very unexpectedly now at the beginning of the trail we walked into some elephant dung uh, and there was a very large bull only 150 meters away from us and we've been studying it for probably half an hour. It's been absolutely unbelievable. Thank you. So you can see the trail coming down here. What, yeah. Explain this. And uh, 
why this trail is coming from up this hill. I understand this elephant is coming from down this hill. There is a swimming pool of the elephants. They do always go and swim in that swimming pool, especially when they are having some wounds. When an elephant is having a wound, it, it do always go and swim, rolling in that mud, mm. such that that mud can cover that wound. Yes, uh, well, his right-hand side was yeah. covered in mud, yeah. but not the left, so he just lay down on that side. Yes, sometimes you can find that side where you've seen too much mud. You find there is a wound, and it wants to, de to defend itself from the flies, from other small insects that do always disturb it when it is mm. having a wound. So they do always go to that swimming pool for that protection. When they roll in that mud, then the, the wound will be covered with mud. So it's with that time it will be healing, healing with time, and it will heal forever. And mm. it will find that is the only protection they can defend themselves from being disturbed by the insects. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Here is where the elephant was lying down. You can see, beautiful. And this, I think, maybe is where his tusk was. So that's the side. <laughs>